Hey there, it's Patmos, and nice of you to join me for a new episode with Foundation. So let's get time going. We'll start off at speed 2 so we can catch up where we left off. And well, here we see our little parts of the universe. Our cute little villages. Here's the big one, of course. Here we have our pretty big Lord Manor at the moment. I think I want to add something to it. So we should go to the add-on and let's to designate this the visitor location that means that a visitor will come to that point so let's build it like that and now the uh, visitor should come here and then we can see him and he can see all our might combined in this well lovely building so let's move on what do we have to do well we have a high immigration incentive that's good we have no unemployed villagers we have a pretty high happiness and, well, we have a pretty good population, I'd say. We were working on a monastery, so perhaps we should continue our work with that. Or we should make sure that we clear out a few trees here, because that could also help. Because right now I can't really see much of this. And what we could also do is just start the construction of this and then continue later on. That could also be a good thing. We need quite a few resources for it, but we have... Well, most of it. Well, we don't have any glass, so that's an issue. So, let's focus on that. Let's see, because here we have all our jobs. We have no jobs that don't have anybody producing, so we're not producing any glass, I guess. So, well, that's the thing we need to do. Either produce glass or try see if we can import some. If we want to start producing glass, we need to know if there's any quarries nearby that give us glass or the right type of stuff that we need for that. But I don't think we can get glass already. Decoration, masterpieces, transportation services. All right. Well, let's see. The jeweler... The golds, candles, common wares. Yeah, I don't see us producing glass already. We did actually um, unlock most things, so I would say we should be able to produce some glass. But apparently, you're not. Ah, there it is, the glass smells are perfect. Requires, produces one glass in exchange for six quartz and three coal. But we're not producing any quartz as far as I know. No, we are not. I'm going to leave this open. I think that's better. And we don't have a quartz quarry close by to start working with. Now, our bailiff is searching for new goods, so that could be a thing. But right now... There is no quartz available to us, so we'll have to find that. And until then, we can't really build this, so we should focus on the production of quartz then. Let us see. Juices, barrels, well, most of these things we already have. We could start building the glass builder, but I want to put it close to the quarry, I think. So there's no real benefit to starting to build it right now. What? Well, what did happen is we have um, people that are not, build, not employed and we don't have jobs. So perhaps that could be the reason to build a lumber camp right here and start clearing all that lumber that is in this area. Because that would help get this area more clear. Now, of course, this will take a lot of time, so that's fine. We are not in a rush. And it will be very nice if we got rid of all these trees. So let's start with that. We need to do some zoning anyway, I see, at the moment. Okay, this is all looking good. There's no... I don't see any woodcutters close by. There's one here, but that has this forest. There's none here that can't do his job, so that's good. There's one here that is actually doing his job, so that's very nice. Promotions are available. All right, let's see. How much people can we promote? Should we promote? It's also a question. Let's do at least three serves. 
One, two, three. That gives us 70 serfs. We can do one commoner and three citizens, perhaps. Right, doesn't really matter who. I don't really care about that. One, two, three. All right, so I think we now have decent numbers. Or not. I do one more serve. We have 70. Oh, wait, if I do three more of these, then three people. Oh, that's it. So one, two, three. We have to work our way up. Because if we promote three commoners to citizens, then of course we have three less commoners. That's it. So now we do three. One more, two, three. All right. Now all the numbers add up. 70, 40, 15. And 85 newcomers. We have a military mission available. I just have no clue whether a military is available. Ooh, we have one, two, three fully trained. One, two, three, four still training and three wounded. Well, I'm going to wait it out a little. Ah, there's a new house coming in. That is actually very nice. Here's a new house coming in. That's good. I do believe we still have only three builder workshops. Is that true? Ooh, one, two, three. We'll give them a job. Let's select builders. One, two, three. All right, we already have four builders workshops. I guess we can build one here. To make travel time way less when they uh, need to work on the monastery. So we'll build one here. Add a few builders, and as soon as we are going to start working on the monastery, they can do that straight away. Still five people again without a job? That's a lot. That actually is a lot. Hmm. Right, we have the jewelry workshop. We have a blacksmith. Old smelter warehouse. Do it doesn't appear like we already have a weaponsmith. I would have thought we already built one. Market weaver. Smelter forager. Alright, we don't have a weapon smith yet, so let's start building one. Let's start to produce a few weapons. Should be able to do that, yes. Ooh, that's a pretty big building. Interesting. It doesn't have a negative red zone, so that's nice. Let's go right here. Let's build. Let's build us a few weapons. I wonder if we can sell any weapons. These want to buy swords, and they buy good money for it. But they pay good money for it, so that could be interesting. The house is upgrading. Well, that's always nice. Let's prioritize that. Now, let's keep an eye on happiness. There's no real... Issues there, so that's good. Those things are just running smoothly and nicely. It's interesting. Every production is also still fine, but I think it's always good to make sure that you really have plenty. Let's get a few extra berries. One, two, build. Set up the zoning, of course. Just make sure that we really have enough. And we have the people to fulfill those jobs anyway, so... Who cares? Alright, we can add three more builders. Which works. I think we should just start this building already. Because they have a lot of stuff to bring there. And they have a lot to... They can probably already do quite a bit of building before they... um need the glassworks, so it'll be fine. Ooh, interesting. Building over quite a few resources, but that's no problem. The monk is requesting an audience. So he did come to the wrong building, but that's okay. What, what does he want? 50 wood for the king, the clergy, or the people? Does it really matter? King, the clergy, and the people. Oh, we should do the king. I can already see that. Here they go. 50 wood delivered. Bye-bye. I'm going to send out all the um, healthy soldiers on a mission, because I think they should do that. An easy mission, so let's go. Let's have some fun. Alright, soldiers. 
Prepare troops. Well, let's send out those that are not wounded. That is seven of them. All right, send the troops. A few extra villagers come in. Well, they're building jobs, so that's good. As soon as we have those available, that we can send them out. Have all of our people working. Oh, they're building a house all the way up the hill there. That's pretty cool. Probably have a job somewhere here. Interesting. This looks fine as well. Just waiting for a builder. What should we do with zoning here? I think we should perhaps increase the residential zoning here a bit. Make sure that they have enough room to, to build a home in. I don't think we're going to use this area, so... Why not have homes here? That's also fine. And they can live by the water if they want to. I don't think they want to, but they can. No access to comfort. Well, that's because your house isn't done yet. So let's prioritize it. Let's get that house done so those people have a place to live. That, of course, is an issue if you don't have a place to live. So, But we still produce plenty of bread. Good amount of cheese. We have plenty of clothing, plenty of berries. Fish could be dropping slightly, or it could just be that. No, fish is completely filled up. That's good. So, things do run okay. I guess one of the things we want is for our bailiff to return. Actually do something nice and find the quarry for us, a quartz quarry. Alright, they're bringing all the resources. They're doing a mighty fine job with that. This is looking nice. I hope they can do quite a few building parts already. I wonder what they need the class for. We can probably check. Ah, they need the class for the Abbey buildings. One, two, three. And all the rest they can probably build, so that's cool. Question is, can we buy a little bit of glass? Is there anyone selling glass to us? This one is selling glass. It's pretty costly, but it's selling glass to us. So, all we need to find... I'm going to keep that open because we are going to... Oh, we can do this for now. Let's set it to glass. Then get to it and buy a bit of glass. And we want to buy 30. All right. Let's buy 30 and let's see. I hope that works. And then we have the class that we need. It's pretty costly, but we have plenty of money anyway. Question is, do we need to set a building to treasury or did we do already see none so this should be a treasury this should be a treasury perfect so now we have extra room in the treasury we can store some extra money although we never had to um, really think about it because it all works fine I do believe our builders take quite a long time to build, but we're also just playing speed 2 for the moment, because that's better. Ah, the bailiff is ready for a mandate. Well, let's research a deposit then. I totally missed the message that it found something, so I guess right now we'll have to just search and see on the known locations if he found something, and if he did, if we can extract it. But so far, no luck. I do hope that it's not just completely random and we... Ah, there's quartz right there. That's where we need to go for the quartz and to produce our own glass. Interesting. Did we already get glass? No, I don't think so. We need to keep an eye on it so that we don't buy too much. Alright, that worked. Well, the gathering hut was done. Both of them, so that's six people with a job. All we need to check now is the Weaponsmith. Oh, that looks good. 
as long as we produce enough coal. Now, we only have two of these, and I think we need a third one, but I'm not 100% sure, but that might be the case. So, one of you asked me if I shouldn't just go down on the polished stone production, because we had way too much that we didn't need, and we ran out of stone. As you can see right now, we're just building half of the monastery that we have intended, and we already ran out completely. And it takes quite a while to actually fill up the stockpile again, so... That's why I do produce quite a bit of polished stone, because I want it all done. All right, you were victorious. Cool. Our soldiers were victorious. Now let's check. No one got wounded, so that's good. So he can keep my troops, because the success probability is still extreme. So let's go. That's looking very good. Did we buy glass already? I don't see trade costs going up, so probably not. I'm going to keep an eye on that as soon as we see that the glass is already there. I want to stop importing it. And of course, at a certain point, we should probably try and... Um, make sure that we produce our own. But that's going to take some time, because I think we need to build a whole new village again. Probably somewhere here to make sure that the, all the workers can get there. And to do that, we need a village probably somewhere here as well. So we need to spread out all over the map. That's one of the problems you can have if you keep all your houses close by, the center of your city, then the workers can't reach their job or can't have a home and, and walk all the way. So you need to make sure that every now and then you set up a whole new city center and then continue outwards because otherwise you can't get everything. Alright, I do s believe that we bought some stuff in trade now. 20 glass there. Perfect. So, it might just be the case that we got a lot of glass. At least 20. And of course, they're all starting to work at the monastery now, so all our builders are probably pretty, pretty busy. We have no monks yet, but... We can concede a villager to the monastery. Not going to do that yet because it's not done, but that would be cool. We can get a few villagers to be monks, but I, prob I think we probably can't choose. So we'll have to be careful with that, not to lose our best citizens, I guess, to the clergy and the monks. But we'll have to see about that. They are pretty busy with the building, so... All right, let's prioritize this one because I want it done. That way we can provide those people with a job as well. Alright, let's play, play speed 3 for a little while. In the meantime, let's check zoning. Yeah, we did quite a bit of extracting here. Which worked out fine. Got rid of quite a few trees. Clearing up the map. I do like the clearing uh, with all the trees, but of course that's different for everyone. I know some of you... Well, I'm not going to say hate that, but just like the trees all around there and, and have fun with that. It's completely fine, of course. I, I'm not much of a fan. I just like everything clear and straight out and... Yeah, that just works for me. But of course, you should just do what works for you. Which is quite important, actually. One of the... Oh, I'd say one of the big lessons in life. Do what works for you. Of course, not if you want to harm other people, etc. But in general, if you want to uh, achieve something... Ooh, the official garden masterpiece. The vain effort of your shoulder to battle has inspired some of your village and they want to build an official garden masterpiece to honor the occasion. Soldier recovery speed is increased by two. And the building condition is all parts are by the riverside. Well... I don't know if we have a river, so we're going to check that, but if we can do that, that'll be awesome. Alright. Difficulty is very difficult, so that's not good. And probably, yeah, we have a few wounded. Three to be precise, so let's bring the soldiers back. I think that's better. But that worked, so we got a mission done, and uh, that should bring us a nice loot. And they really did a lot of wood chopping. That's very cool. Get rid of a lot of trees. Let's keep working with that, of course. We want to get rid of more trees. No, it's not good for global warming, but I don't see that's a problem yet. 
And we have a new building we can build. That's the Medicinal Garden Masterpiece. It needs to be... By the riverside. Well, I wonder if this counts as a river. I guess it should. Because if not, then on a map like this, you just can't build it because there is no river. So that's a thing. Now, I have encountered things like that before, where the creators didn't really think it through and then something like that happens. But I think we should be able to build it. Question is, should we, for instance, build it here then? Not sure. Let's see. Promotions are available. Do we want to promote anyone? I don't think so. I'm pretty happy as we stand right now. This food's going well, although cheese is dropping a little bit. Clothing is going well, all the other stuff looks pretty good. So, don't promote too many people, it can get you into a real lot of trouble. Because they all need different things all of a sudden. If you promote like 10 people and 10 people need extra bread and clothing, etc., then you can easily run out of stuff. Alright, why should we build the medicinal garden close to the river? I'd say down here then, but I'm not sure if that is close to the river. Is this close to the river? And it's, it's so sandy, I don't like the look of it. Because it will be... Perhaps we should do it right here. Close to the monastery, so the monks can work there or something like that. Alright, well we have plenty of money, so let's buy the zones. So at least we have the option to build there if we want to. And perhaps we should. Let's just start with a medicinal garden masterpiece because then we can see if it works. Alright, edits the building. All parts by the riverside. That's now 0%. So, I don't know. I think we should probably start with all of these and then build a fence around it or something like that. Alright, let's go. What does it say? 100%. Alright, so this works as the... Uh, what do you call it? The riverside. So that's a good thing. So we'll build one right here. Let's make it look a little bit nice. I think that'll be cool. Alright, one of those. Do we have another one that's that shape? The same again. I mean, it has to look a little bit cool, don't you think? So, something like this. These are the corners then. Then perhaps we need some entrance to it. And then some fencing. So that people can get in and out. Alright. Let's zoom in a bit so we can see a little bit better. Hopefully. Can we go around the corner? Yes. Alright, so we should do it like this then. Probably. Alright, so we have one entrance on this side. I think we should do an entrance on the other side as well. And then we can... Um, two, three, let's move north. Right. One. Probably turn this around a bit so we can see a little bit better whether it fits or not. Doesn't have to be a perfect fit, of course, but at least now we get some sort of a um, fence around it. I think it'll be nice. We need a fountain in the middle, of course. So, something like this. Hmm, what should we get around it? I think we need to remove this first, because we need to make a few of these big ones. Bad weather is coming. Alright, we can handle that, I think. Let's go. Well, it's the same, so let's do different ones. One, two. And one with a tree. Three. And this one. It's round. Alright, let's do this one. 
right there. And we'll do the fountain in the middle. Oh, that looks nice, I'd say. Then we'll get one that's pretty high. We put it right here. Same one on the other side. Needs to be a bit symmetrical. I like that. I'll put it right here. Move this one up a little bit. All right. Then we need a big entrance, of course. And perhaps we need this again. So, one right here. Two in the middle. One. Two. And then one here again. Well, it's a pretty big piece, but I guess it will look nice. Alright, let's continue with the fencing. Everyone is placed, everything is placed riverside, it says, so that's good. We need to overlap these a bit, because otherwise it won't look that good. Perhaps we should move it a little bit. Let's try this. Alright. And now, we'll try it like this. Yeah, that's better. Alright, then we move this one. I really hate that big tree right there. It is totally distorting my view. But we'll handle it. Let's move around, that helps. Oh, well, not too much, but it should help. Alright, let's put this down here. So at least those trees will be gone, and then oh, as soon as we do this, they'll be back. Alright. Well, that's one more. One more. And we'll overlap them a bit. That's not too nice, but at least now it works, so it's closed up. Oh, we can move this one a bit more. That's nice. Alright. Well, that should be it, so let's build it. Then we'll have an additional garden. And all of our pieces, all of our soldiers will heal a lot quicker. That'll be cool. Ooh, and they're really building the monastery. Ooh, and they got all the glass, so we can remove the glass from the trade one. Let's just remove... Ooh, that's the tools, that's fine. Let's remove the glass. I wonder if we still have in store. That's fine, though. Yeah, we have a bit in store, but that's okay. We can use that for something else, I guess. We have 10 villagers without a job now. Now, that's the one of the issues you can have when you um, are busy building and in the same time playing Speed 3. It might just happen that you uh, end up with a lot of these messages missed, etc. But it's fine for now. I do believe that we need a few extra cows and an extra cheese maker. Because we don't have that much milk. And the number of cheese is running down a little bit so and we need extra jobs anyway so let's get two extra dairy farms that we can place well perhaps just on the opposite right here because that doesn't really matter one two let's build them and then we should be able to get an extra cheese maker i do believe we have only one at the moment now we have two there's one here as well so let's build one in this village. So they, he produces the cheese quite close to the village as well. Let's do so. That will provide quite a few jobs, which is very good. And that's very nice. Alright, let me check this. Because, yeah, we need to sell some jewelry. Otherwise, we are producing all the luxuries, but we're not selling them. And the people want them. They want that to be happy. Well, that's the baker. This is the cheese maker. So yeah, let's hope once these are done, I'm going to prioritize them, that we can actually produce enough cheese. I do believe we have stored quite a bit of food for winter, so we should be fine. We'll see. Most of the resources are there now, so that's good. Promotions available. Well, we don't need any promotions at the moment. All right, let me check my soldiers. Four wounded, so let's wait with that. And of course, it has been half an hour, so this is it for now. I'm going to zoom in on the part of the monastery that is being built.
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, join the club and subscribe. And, of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.